clear of the closing doors, please. I'm from the Bronx. I live uptown by 211. From the Bronx. It's Luke Luna from the BX, man. Eating little projects, man. Hi. My name is Karima, and I am from the Bronx. That's photo. Photo road. I'm in the Bronx. And my name is Kevin. I'm in the Bronx, New York, Co-op City, Sec 5. I'm on 41st in Willis Avenue. I'm Annie from the Bronx, New York. I'm the Bronx, South Bronx. My name is Poetic Young from the North Bronx. You already know. Uh, we from the Bronx. First name, Eric Bass, and Spencer, Media World Project. Duel of the Boroughs. As we take you into Chapter 2, we will be digging deeper into the elements that make our city, its five boroughs. To begin, the Bronx is the only borough in New York City to be attached to the mainland of New York State. Its perceptions of lifestyles and environments have been challenged politically, socially, and economically since the mid-20th century. Nevertheless, as we unravel this borough, we may realize the unique gems that have crafted the beginnings of hip-hop culture, salsa culture, a tribute to nature, and a rich Latino presence. Despite the disparities, the borough holds the most professional sports championships during modern-day North American history, so winning isn't foreign here. With a population of 1.5 million residents on 44 square miles of land, welcome to the Bronx. Stars, the <laughs> How do I feel about this injustice in the system? Yeah, I'll let my brother know because they probably missed him. The bronze niggas, niggas like here just always try to be on the cool shit. Everyone here trying to be a goon. Not everyone want to be a goon. Like, not everyone here is a goon. Bronx, look down. Bro, the Bronx is where the, you know, the committees is at, you feel me? Everything is laid in the Bronx. Everything, you feel me? You ain't over here, you ain't popping wherever you want. Bronx is one of the best places to live, in my personal opinion. Uptown. Oh, shit. <laughs> the Bronx. Let's start with the Bronx. Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't, I'm sorry. I went to the Bronx when I was up to no good. Uh, right? That's that when I go to the Bronx. About the Bronx. <laughs> Chilling right out there. Chilling with your friends. Smoking weed. Smoking weed. <laughs> Chilling with your friends. Straight out of the Bronx. You know? Straight out of the Bronx. <laughs> No, I don't want to cross right now, I see every 88 in the Yankees. More family oriented, uh, the schools are um, for those who are coming up. I love the culture. I like the fact that it's very diverse. I grew up in a huge Pakistani community and you know, uh, the Bronx doesn't have just one image, it has a lot of different people representing it, and I think it's very misunderstood. It's the most misunderstood place in, uh, in New York in general. Basically, the Bronx, you don't want to go there. All right. <laughs> Why are you talking about I love the Bronx? Riverdale is gorgeous! The rich part of the Bronx is just nice, like by the city and stuff like that. But then there's also like, the real Bronx where like honestly like I've only been there because my mom works in the South Bronx and guys that's dangerous <laughs> like he a blood nigga from the Bronx he old man wait though the authenticity it's real it's real uh it's a real neighborhood <laughs> Fake, bitches be fake, I'm blowing on dope, can straight from Jamaica, get top of my thoughts and it's back to the paper, can't trust the soul, I'ma fuck with this paper, life is no joke, these bullets are taking... It's not that dangerous, but... <laughs> 
Like, it's not somewhere where I really want to raise my children. I think the fact that it's so misunderstood, there's so many stereotypes against it, and it really, it degrades the people in here. It's a rainbow and a mixture of different kinds of people. So I, I, I like what it offers. Yeah. She has gorgeous. not been to the Bronx where I've been All right, to the Bronx. Maybe I've not been to the Bronx where he's been to the Bronx, but Riverdale is gorgeous. No, I only... Actually, I volunteered in the Bronx. It was like a health center and we played games with people who have some sort of disability. I've been to the Bronx once. I went to the zoo and I hate <laughs> zoos. Or when I go eat at my boyfriend's mother's house because she makes some banging ass food. Make a nigga cheese. That's a fact. Bronx is like, that's Spanish people, B. I don't like Bronx. I don't like Bronx. Bronx is all Spanish people, man. They run that. Also, Latino, Puerto Rican, Dominican. For this Bronx that I've been to, I like it because like, there's a lot of people around, you know. There's, there's a lot of good people, but there's also a lot of bad people, you know. That's everywhere you go. Bronx, like you said, Italy is way uptown, stuff like that. Streets are crazy getting around the Bronx streets. You'll turn up a street, and it'll be a mountain in your way. You gotta go 5,000 blocks around to get to the other side of the Bronx. Like, you just keep going in a circle. Everything red. Keep them in flavor, she bustin' it open, come fuck with a nigga like go damn pimpin' my niggas is grippin' the fuck is you thinkin'? Gun in the mask, hand on my business, ain't leaving no witness. I'm talking to women like I got no feelings. Then back to the strip, catch a neck in the building, ain't wildin' for nothing. She blowin' like loud with a wonderful feeling. Turn up in the club, them bottles be comin', blowin' this money. Fuck you mean I ain't bringin' for nothing. My conscience is giving me way better sounds. It's just it's just not always like that when we're not around. And what she did to Patrick, I think she grabbed that cup. Whipping the roll till they kicking my dots on the sofa in that hall when I'm whipping the roll. Niggas be fake, bitches be fake, I'm blowing on dope. Can't say from Jamaica, get top from my thoughts and it's back to the paper. Can't trust the soul, I'm a fuck with this paper. I love the Bronx. Arthur Avenue is one of my favorite places to eat. I was born in Manhattan, but I was raised here by Yankee Stadium. Um, and it's pretty awesome. I like Yankee Stadium. I like the people. I just think it's boring. I think I was meant to be in a different world. But this is home. I'm a like, you know, slow paced type of person, laid back, you know, the Bronx is like, you know, slow paced. I walk around here at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't care. I'm not slow in the morning. It's all minorities for the most part, so I'm good with that. What I like about the Bronx is just like, wow, man, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. There's Very of, ambitious. Yeah, you know, yeah. they a lot of boroughs, a lot of people seem to downplay the Bronx, but we're rising above all that negativity. That thing is dope, though. I've never seen that before. That's like the grimiest borough. Like, I know niggas that like, will go to jail and then fuck and marry and see their man's girls. Like, I see this shit happen all the time. Like, that's the crookedest borough. Like, there's a lot of flavor, like, deep inside. Different like, talent. Like, a lot of hidden gems. A lot of culture, that's what it is. A lot of hidden gems that you don't really mix. see much because you don't come out here. Yes. This is what made me. Like, you feel growing up as a kid, like, you couldn't be soft. Like, you can't come out here. Can't go through this way. Mm -hmm. Can't go down that way. So you basically trapped in your own. They kind of knew that I wasn't from there, so they kind of like tried to check me and shit. So it was like, uh, like what the fuck? Like, they asked me like questions, like interrogations. I'm like, yo. So growing up being from the Bronx and going to school in Harlem, you know the neighborhoods weren't all that great. You know, despite contrary belief, I am from the projects. They try to bring a lot of uh, low poverty uh, people to the Bronx. The cost of living is cheaper in the Bronx. So growing up in the projects, it was very hard, very dangerous. But you don't really understand how dangerous it is until you go out on your own and you experience 
different places and you're like, wow. Growing up in the Bronx, is, everywhere is graffiti, so that's inspiration in itself. I'm a graffiti street artist, so the Bronx is the inventor of all of that shit. My family, standing up my family, like, that's a wild borough. But the girls out there, I like the girls out there. So. There are white people coming over. I see Starbucks, I see Checkers, I see Walgreens. It's my hometown, I'm from here. We do everything, we come from the Bronx. Hip hop and all. See everybody over there, all types of race, and everybody wants to mingle. Everybody's always more open to each other. The Bronx is very, very ignorant. It's a blissful ignorance, though. It's not that they're, they're uneducated. Bronx is trying to go hard. Has some nice bowlers out here too. Top of the key, one more. Two more. Like. I'm not wearing your clothes my head. Like a lot of people, I can't relate to because I don't think like people challenge themselves enough. Sometimes we could be like. I mean, people I from like the, the Bronx. perception of people <laughs> of the Bronx. The overjudgment. <laughs> Not yes. the people who live here. Yeah. Without actually knowing, yeah. without actually being from here, then just watching us and looking at us and just trying to judge about our lifestyles and what it is that we do here in the Bronx, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this kind of energy, this kind of vibe inside. We need you're really more places get, like that. You don't get that kind of vibe in other places. It's quite people, very nice people. So, how is it before? Uh, people very bad for Browns. They're not building the Bronx up fast enough. Y'all gotta look at it from the Bronx view. Bro. Did you get it? From the inside. Ah. That was <laughs> funny. <laughs> no. Okay. It's uh, negative. Yeah. <laughs> but you see some shit that you don't want to see. The Lord told you Texas for the very specific. It's like all this beef shit. The got get money. Right. It happens every day. It's the simple fact that we all saw it, so it was all it was a, a awareness, raising awareness to everybody. We just gotta be more careful. Go. Yeah. You know, people come over here, they steal our bags sometimes, you know. People in the Bronx, we're working hard, so we forget we forget about our community. Yeah. Like, you, know? you can always be an outsider, even in your own territory. You could be a normal nigga just walking down the street, the cops are just stopping for Nah, they can't do that, but let's go. People you grew up with being turned on, they fucked up. You from Boston Road, you really don't mingle with people on Dunhill Road. If you from Dunhill Road, you really don't go to a pony like that. If you from White Plains Road, you pretty much don't go nowhere but White Plains Road. We call that Montego Bay, that's the little Jamaica. Being in the streets matured me, you learn from everything you see, you sit back and analyze it. You see, you see what it is, what it life is about. Girls get pregnant, man, yo. Girls been like tight, their names just get slandered and all that. And he's like, this is gonna use film for the longest. It's real different out here, man. You see a lot of crazy, you know, a lot of crazy unexpected things, but yeah, man. You'll be ex so, you know. Parts of the city that used to be very dangerous and are not dangerous at all. I was born in the born in the Bronx. And the Bronx used to be when I was growing up there was areas near the concourse very wealthy. Now that's considered a bad neighborhood. So the communities have got just nice and clean buildings, and staff and everything, and the others are just the slums and rough, dirty and shit. I've been robbed like at gunpoint, and uh, like as as bad as it sounds, I guess it just comes with the limit here, and you just gotta watch your back. Kid getting <laughs> him and his mom's getting beat up, you know, because they had beef with my neighborhood, and they you know come over here, and he thought you know he was. You know, good because he was with his mom and they just got up. So what they're doing now is they're buying off people. Um, people who live along, along here, they're offering them thousands and thousands to move out and leave. 
so they can take over these apartments and bring in new tenants. The Bronx, here's the thing, is that I've never been to the Bronx, gentrification has hit, well, it's hit Brooklyn and it's hit Queens, but it's never hit the Bronx. So, they react to certain situations differently. Like, you know, for us, like the street life, they they take it, the, you know, the extra, extra step thing, you know, while living in, in Manhattan now. Like, you know, it's more crazy in the Bronx. So. This is like a war zone out here. People who have lived in these homes for 20, 10 years, who raise their children and their grandchildren here, and they're telling them to get out. Because everything else, violence and all that is different. The struggle, the pain and all that flesh. It's rough out here. He's robbed so she rips his whole shit out. It be like that sometimes out here. Struggle out here. Zoo. I used to take the kids there every couple of weeks. There's a lot of job opportunities over there compared to like Africa, you know. That's why most people come over here, you know, try to make something for themselves. You know? I think we should get a lot of our minority community to get involved in arts because it allows us to express ourselves in beautiful ways. People say, man, if you can make it out here, you can make it anywhere. Because, like, the Bronx has, like, one of the toughest clientele spots that you can ever think. Because there's so many so many people tattooing out here, and there's so many different styles. It's an eclectic spot. You know, you could go downstairs, you see, like, a lot of different people, and it's like the trains are right here. So. Thankful for being where I'm at now, because other people got it worse. Trying to excel and get there. I've been there like five times in my life, and they're all Yankees games. Just the culture, like hip hop was born there. I like, I read Bronx to love me because it like made me who I am. I feel like the Bronx is about to get taken away from us. And I'm not with that. Yeah, we're, we need the to Bronx start, is lit. We need to start putting back into our own community. Yeah, the Bronx. By the Bronx, for the Bronx, you know? Like. So we don't just need math and science, we need arts and music. Jennifer Lopez, Boogie Down Bronx Projects. You have Big Pun and Big Fat Joe. They all came from the projects from here. So we do have great artists who came from here. Washington, in the projects before she made it big. Yeah, we're not up for that gentrification stuff in the Bronx right, right now. Yeah. So we, we have to keep the gentrification. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying, it's too, it's too hood. It's dangerous. Don't come to the Bronx. <laughs> it's a place of love and possibility. But like, once you get out, you get out. Like, <laughs> you don't really come back. In the Bronx, born and raised. I moved to Westchester County when I was about nine, so I have a little bit of the best of both worlds, being from the inner city, um, being around black Latinos, and then being around white people also in Westchester, so I have the best of poverty and good neighbor neighbors as well. Uptown, White Place Road, nigga. Here in Manhattan, it's, everybody's on top of each other. Uh, everybody's always in a rush to go places or whatever they have to do, as opposed to like Queens or Brooklyn, where like everybody's kind of slow and moving and like, I don't 
don't know. It's, everything's more spread out. There's more room to do things. And then, like, forget about Staten Island. That's like another country to me. <laughs> Bronx, I see Big Pun. <laughs> you, you see, know what I'm saying? You see Harlem, Brooklyn, you see Biggie. Right? Harlem, I see, I see Big L. Brooklyn, I see Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Queens, I see Mob Deep. Nah. But to be honest, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying right right now, These bars are extremely different. Queens is full of females. Brooklyn is full of hood niggas that don't know how to act. Staten Island is full of white people that don't know how to party. And what? Well, Manhattan is just full with a lot of random mixed individuals with FBI agents, CIA, Secret Service, and the feds. That's all that's in the city right now. Because, like, Bronx, we got big fun. Brooklyn got biggie, whatever. But still, like, I feel like the people, the, the culture, struggles are all the, the same. struggle is the same thing. I like Brooklyn a lot. I feel like there's more diversity. It's more of, like, a chill vibe. And Manhattan's really crazy. I really hate Times Square. I feel like it's the biggest waste of electricity in all of America and you can feel the heat of the light. Everything is money, except for the Bronx. Shout out to the fucking pussy. Shout out to the Bronx. Shout out to the Like, I get no pussy. Shout out to the Bronx. Shout out to the Bronx. Bronx is kind of like your slum slums. You know what I'm saying? Also, certain parts of Brooklyn could be your slum slums too, but Brooklyn has came up over the years now. You know what I'm saying? Bronx ain't wild in that motherfucker. Queen, you know. Get a little more sugar.